So I've come over to the paint booth. This is where we plan to paint crunch for its final painting. Little city rest house, kind of close to us here. We're going to actually just check in on a uh, other build that they got in here for us today. Uh, before we surprise them, we'll uh, say hello. So I'm back over at uh, Little City Restos, and here is my little toy, a 1966 GT Junior that's becoming a GTA Tribute in a Mary Kay color. <laughs> yeah, I like my pink car. So this will be sit for a day or two, and then it'll be blocked out. 180, then 220. One more coat of primer, and then sanded and sealed before it gets its paint. So this is where we will uh, paint Crunchy when it's his turn. But uh, right now, the little GT gets to sit here. So we'll keep prepping uh, Crunchy, get it to a point to uh, come over here to the booth for final prep and paint. Stay tuned, we'll show you more about the uh, GTA project coming up. So just about ready for uh, the final little bit of paint on the uh, inner fender repair and then for the rest of the engine bay. So it's been primer and then we put another little dust of uh, another primer that will help uh, with the red I guess and uh, yeah, a little extra coat. Never heard anything. So, should have that uh, in some shiny red, and uh, this will be all done. We can start putting the uh, front end together. Stay tuned. So we got a first coat of epoxy primer in the trunk here. And all the stuff that we scraped up. Yeah, just do another little coat and uh, get that uh, looking shiny red. Crunchy time! Time for a break there. So, first coat of a bit of Alpha Rosso Red going on. Getting the little trunk, the boot all fixed up. Looking a little better. And
some of the area we got uh, tidied up. Here's the main repair area. The engine bay starting to take shape. And this old crunchy part ain't crunchy anymore. So that's just the first coat. Getting the uh, little bit of red paint on the um, rad support and a little bit on the inside of the front nose. So the object here is we'll clean that back and then it'll get into place and welded. And there'll just be a little touching up and uh, it will be all complete. So that stuff will be done and ready for when we get around to doing the exterior of the car. It won't have to be bothered with at that time. So that's our plan. Coming together. So, that's what we were after. Getting all that done so we can get this put back together. So we'll start aligning those up and uh, those fenders wings and uh, start tacking into place. After that it'll be the uh, nose cone and the buckets. And of course, lots of mechanical work on suspension and stuff like that. Painted, sort of.